Hey guys, Philly Boy J is here, and today I'm going to be showing you a simple and basic oven baked barbecue ribs recipe. What you're going to do first is you're going to get your slab of ribs and you're going to place them in a bowl of cool water. You want to add about one tablespoon of salt to that water, and once they thaw out, you're going to rinse them with the salt water solution, okay? So, as you can see, my ribs are no longer frozen. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with a knife, scrape off some of this fat here. Not all of it, but some of it. Fat does provide flavor, so I don't remove all of it. And I'm going to remove the membrane from the back, as you can see here. You have to pull this off. And what you do... You're going to probably need a knife. You see this here? Sometimes it can be kind of difficult to peel off and other times they come off rather easily. This one is giving me a little hard time, but you see how you pull that off there? Start from the end and just pull it off. Like that. Okay, and you're going to remove some of the fat from the back of the ribs as well. So, that's the way you want to do it. You got to remove that membrane as you see there. Get all that off. Can't eat that. Alright, and then... So this fat that you see here, with a knife you want to try to cut that off. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to do this. Um, you don't have to remove every piece, but as much as possible. And I'll get back with you guys when I'm done. And on this side here. You're just going to kind of cut a little bit of it off like that, okay? Just with a knife, just kind of do that. Like I said, you don't have to remove all of it, but you want to cut most of this fat like that, all right? So I'll get back with you guys when I'm done doing this. Alright guys, so here are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I diced some onions up into really small pieces. I like to add butter to my ribs when I'm baking them. It's only a small amount of butter and you don't need it. It is totally optional. The seasonings that I'm going to be using are brown sugar, a little bit of cayenne pepper just to add a little spiciness to the ribs. I'm not using much so you can barely taste it, alright? Some garlic powder. I'm using a combination of celery, salt, and salt and a little black pepper now I'm going to be adding some barbecue sauce to the ribs before I bake them I'm going to be marinating my ribs and you don't need to marinate them okay I just like to do that that's just the way I was brought up we always marinated our meats especially you know ribs or heavy meats um, and you can use your favorite barbecue sauce me personally I like original Barbecue sauce, I like to keep it simple. If I don't use original, I would say my other two favorite barbecue sauces would be sweet and spicy or honey. But you can use your favorite barbecue sauce. You can even make your own barbecue sauce. I actually have a barbecue sauce recipe I'm going to be showing you guys soon. Um, my own homemade barbecue sauce that I created. But yeah, make sure you have all of these ingredients. So what we're going to do is... We're going to focus on the ribs now. So let's move on to the next step. So here's our slab of ribs. I'm going to cut them into individual ribs. Some people like to do this after they bake the ribs when they're nice and tender. But I don't like to do that because they be pretty tender and they fall all apart. I like to cut them into individual ribs before baking them. Okay. So here you can see this part here. This is behind the bone. Um, this is nothing but boneless 
red meat. Okay? And everybody always hating on my knife skills, but you know, um, I told y'all when I was a kid, I had a bad experience with knives, so I am really, really intimidated by them. But this part I'm going to cut off, and this is just going to be like the boneless meat here. Okay, and this part here. I don't think it's a rib right here. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it is. Small bone right here. So I'm going to cut this part. Cut that off. And that's going to be our boneless meat there. As you can see. And um, I'll cut that in half. Right, so that's a boneless meat. And I'm going to bake this along with the ribs as well. Okay, guys, now with the slab, what you do is you cut in between each bone. So you got to find the bones. Here's one right here. Here's another bone right here. This is a bone. This is a bone. So you cut in the middle of the bones. Like that. I think it's a bone up here. I'm cutting through. Just like that. Okay, guys. So, like I said, you really don't need to marinate your ribs. It's just what I like to do. But I chopped the ribs up into individual spare ribs. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place them in a mixing bowl. I'm going to massage them with the seasonings and the onions. And I'm going to add a little barbecue sauce. So, let's do that now. All right, so I'm gonna add spare ribs. Okay. And this is a boneless rib. Okay. By the way, for the full recipe, visit FinnyJCooking.com. Check out the video description box below. There you'll find all the exact measurements, the cooking time, and detailed instructions, and any additional information, as I always say, regarding this recipe, okay? So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add the seasonings. Okay. I'm going to add all of this. It's not much, really. I'm going to add the onions. And a few tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Uh, uh. Add a little more, uh, just like that. And you're gonna get your hands real dirty. You're gonna massage this in. And like I said, you can let these sit for a few hours or overnight. And you can add your favorite barbecue sauce, and you can add your favorite seasonings you can customize this recipe to your liking this is just the way i make oven baked barbecue ribs i don't do nothing fancy i keep it simple okay so i'm gonna let these marinate for a few hours and i'll get back with you guys in a few okay See you soon. All right, guys. So my ribs is done marinating. I let them go for about four hours. Um, you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're going to get a baking dish, and we're going to begin adding our 
ribs. Boneless ribs. Right. And you're going to need some aluminum for you. Because we want these to be nice and tender. Now, I don't cook mine very long because I don't like my ribs extremely tender to the point where they're falling off the bone. I just don't like mine like that. I want the meat to be tender, but not so tender where it's just falling all over the place. I, I just don't like my ribs like that, but you can bake them longer if you like. It's all about preference. But I'm not going to let mine go super long. Okay. And you want to add just a little water to this. But what you're going to do is you're going to add water to the bowl that you marinated them in to get the remnants of the marination out. Or marinade rather. We're gonna add that to this. I don't add too much water. Now you may notice some people adding a little oil to their ribs. They have rubbed the ribs down with oil before adding the seasonings and marinating them, but I don't do that because I end up adding butter to them um, as they bake. This is not much. This is only about, I say a tablespoon. Why do I do this? Well, because as I always say, my grandmother did it. <laughs> it may not be healthy, but it's just what I like to do. You're gonna bake them covered and then you're gonna add your barbecue sauce and bake them uncovered. All right, so I'll get with you when these are almost done. All right. Okay, guys, so there are our ribs. We're going to remove the aluminum for you and we're going to get ready to rub our barbecue sauce on now. Okay, and what you can do is you can drain some of that fat at the bottom of the pan as well. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to brush some barbecue sauce over the ribs. Then we're going to add them back to the oven. Um, I did drain most of the fat. Okay, so. And I don't smother my ribs. With barbecue sauce, I add a nice amount, but not too much. Okay, but if you want to add more, it's up to you how much you add. Everybody like different amounts of barbecue sauce. I just don't like a ton of barbecue sauce on my ribs. I just want them to be well coated. So I'm only using a small amount. Okay, so I'm going to place these back into the oven and I get back with you guys once they're done. As you can see, the meat has drawn away from the bone. That means they are pretty tender, but you can see that they're not extremely tender. I don't want my meat to be like stew meat. I just don't like my ribs like that. Alright guys, there go your ribs. Oven baits. Barbecue.
pork, spare ribs. All right, guys, and here go your ribs. They are nice and tender and delicious. It's a really easy and simple rib recipe. Like I said, for the full recipe, visit phillyjcooking.com. And there you'll find all the detailed instructions, measurements, cooking time for this oven baked barbecue ribs recipe. Take a bite of this. Shouldn't be doing this to y'all, but I have to admit that I am a bit hungry. I haven't eaten today. Um, you can taste that kind of yam too. Just a little bit. It's a little spicy, not too much. Mmm. 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 Crazy how a recipe that's so simple can be so good. Didn't add too much to it, but we don't need to. Mm, 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 I don't know what to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. I'm about to lay a smack down on this. A couple of my friends will come over and get them some. But um, it's really simple and basic. But it's really good at the same time. And this is really good for beginners especially. Go to my website. Like I said, my website is, you know, it's best for people who are just learning how to cook because it's so specific. You know, you would have to be like a five-year-old to mess it up. So, check the website out for this recipe. The link will be below. Hope you guys enjoy it. Philly Boy J. Peace. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 